What's up, guys? Welcome to another interview. Benson joined by the European professional tour duty player, Josh. Josh, I've got to ask you, you guys played so, so well at XP. What's it like finishing second? Obviously, it's a great feeling. Like, we beat everyone's expectations and set a new history, like, which is probably going to be very, very, very hard to beat in the future. But obviously, it's not first. Everyone's goal is getting first. Like, everyone would think that you get second place, $250,000. Like, you're going to be really happy. But then... I was surprised myself, like, I just wasn't satisfied, like, it's just not the feeling of winning and, like, knowing that you're one step away from the rings and just the world championship, which everyone wants to win. Tracking back a little bit, what was the practice schedule like for, for the Splice guys heading into XP? To be honest, it wasn't the greatest, like, I think it's pretty obvious to most people that the team wasn't in the best position, like, we weren't having a good practice. We was arguing a lot, and then there was times where people would go offline, including myself, and just not wanting to play with each other, just because there was just so many disagreements. I mean, it wasn't as bad as people make out, and we, like, we did actually learn a few things, and, like, I think it got to the point that we lost that much online sometimes that we actually learned. Like, we've always said, like, the team Hyper Games are probably the team we learned the most from throughout the whole season, because they, despite them being, quote-unquote, online players, like, we still lost them that many times that we learned so many things. Like, our worst our worst rep at the start of the team was Stronghold Hardpoint. And by the time we finished it, we'd played Hyper Games that many times and lost to them. It was our best map. Did you realize, like, the weight of expectation from Europe that was on your shoulders before the final? Like, even even me, like, I'm, I'm watching and then, you know, I know the guys from Envious, they're, they're great friends. But I'm sat there, I'm going, I want the Europeans to win. Did, did you realize that going into the final? Or was that something that you didn't even kind of notice about? I mean... I suppose you say like, briefly we did like was on Twitter and like there was uh, my phone wouldn't even refresh it was that hectic like I was getting that many interactions it was literally insane but like there was never anything negative like people would most of the people were saying like just remember how far you've come already like no one expected and just go for it and just like, give it all so like not really but obviously at the same time you want to do it like not even just for the fans but for ourselves it's like it's such a big thing. So I have to ask. What are you going to spend your money on? Because I saw you tweet, maybe BMW could be in the works. Like, uh, anything else on the on the plans? I ain't really thought about anything else. Like, I just want to upgrade from a car. Really? Mm, that, that's yeah. it? Like, you just I'm want so much money. Probably not to blow it all at once, because if if I don't try to tell myself to be smart, it'll be gone instantly, and I don't want that. Fair enough. Very, very smart. But what's exciting for me is you're teaming with Madcat again for what's probably the hundredth time in your career. Why? Why? Why does it always keep going back to that duo? Is it just something where you guys kind of look at each other when you're, you know, Ross and around? You're like, hey, let's let's do it again. Like, what's the decision making behind that? I think to honest, there's no real reasoning. Like, well, obviously, we've played together so many times. Like, I know he's one of the best players in the game in the world, and I'm not stupid. Like, I know I'm not one of the best, but I know I've got like I bring so much more to the team. I believe I'm the best leader in Europe and close to one of the in the world with how I lead teams when I'm fully focused and not being a bad teammate like I was throughout last year so like he he knows that if I'm, I get put around the right players him well right players being my new team three best players in Europe and I'm in a good place and I've got a good mindset and everyone wants to actually work for something then there's nothing which can go wrong really okay well massive thank you Josh for joining me today really appreciate it uh, good luck next year as well and um, hopefully you can dominate Europe as you always have done in the past Thank you very much.